Hi guys, James here. CNN, MSNBC, can they survive without President Trump in office? 24-7, Donald Trump on both these stations, 24-7. Prior to his election, MSNBC had financial problems and viewership problems, which they still have now, but it was even worse then. So what happens if Joe Biden wins in November, and takes office next January? What happens to these stations? They were obsessed with Donald Trump and his family and investigations and all oh, everything he says. What we're we gonna see Joe Biden? Really? Kind of boring. Wouldn't it be kind of boring to see Joe Biden 24-7? What would they talk about? Sleepy Joe? Screwing up his words again? I, I don't know, I don't understand. So how will they survive? How can they survive? There's no way they can survive. The media will just crash because They've been so fixated on Donald Trump and his family and his connections. And is he is he connected to the Russians? Oh, he likes the Chinese. Oh, he takes money from the Deutsche Welle Bank. Oh, who are all these prostitutes? All these women he's with. What will happen to the media? What will the media be at like without Donald Trump to kick around? What will happen to Adam Schiff? Because say they take the House, say they take the Senate, and they take the presidency. What happens to all these investigators? Nothing to investigate. What happens to those people? What happens to our country, God forbid? It's bigger questions, but what happens to the media who has been fixated with just one thing, Donald Trump, 24 seven for the last three years? Everything, you turn on MSNBC now, it's about Donald Trump and the coronavirus. What a lousy job he's done, it's all his fault. It's not his fault. We know it's not his fault. It started in China, came to Europe, and came to us. We know it didn't start. It's not his fault. Could he have done a better job? Yeah, but I don't. I can't see any president have done a great job with the spread of the coronavirus. Obama had two outbreaks, and he didn't do much better. So I can't see Joe Biden being doing a much better job. And then the economy. Joe Biden wants to raise taxes. So you know how that's going to work out. Dead economy, raise taxes. That's the way to go, folks. But what happens to the media? Are they going to scrutinize Joe Biden? Are they going to scrutinize his, are they just going to be a love fest that they love him to death? That he's the greatest. He's going to make this country great again. No, Joe Biden will make this country great again. But the media has been so one-sided. If you like Donald Trump or not, the media has been terrible. You know, you got Fox, you know, it pushes Donald Trump and that's in Fox business, but everything else is anti-Trump 24-7. You can turn to CNN any time, day or night, put on YouTube videos that they have out there, their channels, and it's nothing but anti-Trump, Trump, 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 Trump. They barely talk about Joe Biden. I can't, you can understand why they don't talk about Joe Biden. God help us if he is elected president. We have the two worst candidates for president. We got Trump, who's nothing but foot in the mouth, and we got Sleepy Joe that's senile. So I don't know what's gonna to happen to this country. I don't know what's gonna go on. So it's real important who, you know, Joe Biden picks the vice president, so that's the next big thing. Then they'll they'll start the attack again. So if this is the scenario that's gonna happen. If Trump wins the presidency and the Democrats take the House and the Senate, they're going to impeach and they'll probably be able to get him kicked out of office. Then they'll try to impeach the vice president and get him kicked out. That's gonna be the thing, how they would do it. If the Democrats could take both houses, they'll just keep trying to get rid of, you know, whoever the Republicans have in, uh, as president. But, you know, that's how it is. And the media is, oh, they're backers. So who's the media going to go after if President Trump is not reelected? That's the big question, folks. The media has been living off of Trump and has survived without him. They could be gone. You have to remember, before, Rachel Maddow went to MSNBC. She was on Air America, which was a radio station. It went up against Rush Limbaugh and they went off the air because they couldn't, nobody listened to them. That's the same thing that happens right now. Fox News has more viewership than MSNBC and CNN combined. They dominate. So what's gonna happen if there's no Trump, which is makes up you know their whole show. If there's no Trump, you're gonna watch Joe Biden 24 seven now media is in deep trouble. They want Trump out, but they won't survive without him. Take care until next time.